Did you know Saturn has 274 confirmed moons? The largest of these moons is Titan, which turns out to be a lot like Earth. It has an atmosphere, clouds, wind, rain, and liquid rivers and oceans on its surface. Instead of liquid water, though, Titan has methane and ethane flowing over its surface, which are both liquids at Titan's surface temperature of around minus 180 Celsius. To study the geological history of Titan, scientists were hoping to examine its river deltas. These can provide a wealth of information as they gather sediment in one place that can reveal a lot about the history of a planet. That's one reason NASA's Perseverance rover is studying the ancient river delta at Jezero Crater. Titan has surprised scientists, though, because it doesn't seem to have river deltas. NASA's Cassini mission imaged Titan when it flew past in 2006 and showed channels and large, flat areas thought to be large bodies of liquid. What it didn't show was the expected river deltas. So did Cassini's synthetic aperture radar instrument just miss the delta features, or are they really not there? To answer that question, scientists built a model of Earth, replacing its water oceans with methane and ethane, and then they simulated scanning it with Cassini's synthetic aperture radar. What they found was that Cassini would clearly have found the large river deltas that almost every river on Earth has where it empties into the ocean. That seems to imply that there really are very few deltas on Titan, and researchers have suggested that maybe winds and currents along the coast move sediment, or perhaps the sea level rises and falls so rapidly that deltas don't have time to form. There are some other strange geologic features in the Cassini data of Titan, and it's an interesting area for further research to dig deeper and explore these mysteries. That's today's short. Have a great weekend. I will see you back here tomorrow.